Right, this is new. Welcome to the uh, the second channel of Villa on Tour. This one's called Max on Tour. Very good name if you ask me. We've already hit 500 subscribers on this channel, which is mad because I haven't uploaded a video yet. But if you don't know what this is, basically my first channel is Villa on Tour. Obviously, I follow Villa home and away every week and that's obviously not going to stop. But when Villa aren't playing, I'm just going to go to as many neutral games as I can possibly do. I've only done 36 out of the 91 was 92, but Barry have gone bust, so unfortunately. But I want to do more of them, took a few more off the list. I'm going by myself today, unfortunately, but in the future, I'll be going with more and more people, loads of different people, Owen, Jamie, other people as well. So keep an eye out for that. Hopefully we're going to go from non-league, international football, Champions League football, abroad, England, Scotland, whatever. Let me know where you want me to go, but I'm just starting off at Stoke City versus Bristol. What better place to start off than Stoke on Trent? <laughs> but it's the easiest place for me to get to. It was at short notice. I've only just got my ticket in the games today. So, you know, it was a last minute thing. Uh, this whole channel was a last minute thing. But if you do go on to enjoy the video, please subscribe to this channel. Lots more neutral based content, loads of football and experiences. So keep an eye for them. If you haven't already, go subscribe to Villa on Tour, which is the main channel. But today, Let's just go to the Bet365 or whatever it's called. Let's just enjoy it. A bit of neutral experience. Hopefully we see some goals, see some atmosphere. We see some limbs, which is basically all I want to see. Go for Scott Hogan. Come on, Hogan. Bag a hatch or whatever. But please stick around anyway. And yeah, let's head off to Stoke-on-Trent. <laughs> Right, I'm here. Um, it's my second time here. First time was obviously with Villa when we drew 1-1 last season. Um, yeah, decent ground. I'm going to have a little nosy around, get some decent cinematic shots. Uh, it's a decent ground to be found, first impressions. Uh, and then I'll just have a little nosy at team news. Hopefully Scott Hogan starts, because he's the only reason I'm here. And trust me, if he scores, it's going to go mad. Uh, but while we're here, I might as well do score predictions. Obviously Bristol City doing well so far. Stoke of rock bottom of the league. Uh, but there's a lot of goals in the Stokes game. I'm going to go 2-1 Bristol City. But I, I can see a draw happening, but it's a difficult one. Uh, but yeah, let's have a little nosy around the ground. Head on in. Still stuck by the 2-1 prediction. Hogan to come on as well though. 
hopefully he does something. But Bristol look good. They've had the most of uh, the first half, so yeah, they'll, they'll still lift it up. Big, big close game. Right, we're back. Uh, sorry about there wasn't too many, like, I didn't say much during the game. That was there uh, because it was a little bit awkward. I was by myself, etc. But in terms of the game, Stoke, oh, I feel sorry for them a little bit. Like, the referee ruined it a little bit today. He just wasn't consistent again. Um, the red card, which in, was it was in like 10 minutes. I think Joe Allen just goes in a little bit too hard. I'll have to see it back because I didn't really see much of it uh, at the time. But it was it was good from Stoke early on. They did well. Got the goal. Nice finish, I think, from Klukas, I think it was. And they looked good at that point. Um, I think Lee Gregory up front, he's a really good player. I like the look of him. Um, but yeah, I think Bristol City grew into the game. Of course, they were going to do that when Stoke had 10 men. Stoke did well, to be fair, to get to half-time at 1-0. But second half, you always knew. I said it at half-time on the video. Like, I thought Bristol City would still go on to win. And they did. They got the equaliser, which is good header by Shizu. That strike is a big donkey of a player. But if you float the ball up to him, it will head in goals for fun. The second goal was a bit of a scrappy one. Jesus, I don't know what happened there. It was like goal line technology. It was a bit of a funny one, actually, because like, it went in. And then Stoke fans thought it didn't, so they started celebrating. But then Bristol City fans were celebrating as well. It was a funny one, you'll see it on the video. And then someone set a firework off in the away end, which made me shit my pants, to be honest. I won't lie to you. <laughs> but, you know, Bristol City fans were good. Um, fair play to them. They were loving it. Stoke fans were good as well, to be fair, based on their position. Like, oh, there's so many empty seats. It's sad a little bit from Stoke. And they're now four points adrift of safety, which is so bad. Scott Hogan came on, touched the ball about once or twice. <laughs> oh my God, Scott Hogan! But that's that's the thing with Stoke. They were just lumping the ball up to him all the time, and that's not how that's not how Scott Hogan works. If you have enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Even if you're a Bristol City or Stoke fan, check out the Villa on Tour channel. So subscribe to this one. Leave a like if you are new. I'm not sure when the next video will be, but I'm sure you'll find out at some point. Follow the Instagram. Follow the Twitter. See you in a bit.